Claveria is an upland community on the island of Mindanao in the southern Philippines. In Claveria, individual farmers depend on the growing of corn and a few other staple crops for their survival. Farmers usually grow two crops of corn per year on steep, sloping, and fragile soils in areas which previously were covered with tropical forest. The challenge and imperative in Claveria, as in many other upland communities throughout the tropical world, is to sustainably use and preserve vital natural resources, especially water and soil. In Claveria, we experience severe soil erosion and rapid decline in crop productivity. Farm yield is declining. So as the population increase and the crop productivity is declining, so there is an imbalance between production and population increase. So we foresee that if these farms are not stabilized, we will foresee that there will be a severe uh, food shortage in this particular area. Today, in an effort to address the environmental, economic, and social pressures that confront them, more than 2,000 farmers have become federated into 85 land care groups throughout the municipality called the Claveria Land Care Association. Claveria Land Care Association is an association of farmers in Claveria uh, composed of uh, men and women who are uh, concerned in conservation, environmental protection, care of the land, and improvements of uh, their economic situation. Kami nga mga katauhan din sa amo. We the farmers in Barangay Patrocinio decided to form a land care association in order to protect the soils from erosion, to care for the land and to plant trees. When we started, there was no government agency that told us to organize land care. It was purely our own decision to organize land care. Makapananong po mga kahoy ipuli sa nga wala na nga mga kakahoyan. Through land care, uh, farmers are encouraged to plant trees to enhance their income. At the same time, enhance the protection of the environment thus reducing the impact of environmental degradation within Claveria and also to other areas downstream. Land care is a mechanism that puts farmers in charge. Farmers in charge of their own plans and prospects for the future and their ability to capture resources to do the kinds of projects that they think need to be done in their own community. Land care also puts farmers in charge when it comes to extension services and research. It gives them a role in defining the problems and driving the agenda rather than the scientists and the extensionists who have done so in the past. Claveria's land care farmers have learned a wide range of sustainable practices. For example, the use of natural vegetative strips and the establishment of more than 200 small-scale nurseries for fruit and timber propagation. In this decision, we challenge uh, farmer to adopt uh, NBS because NBS is a low-cost farming conservation method. We do not uh, need to buy something. And uh, NBS is very efficient in the control of uh, soil erosion as experience to those farmers who are ahead in adapting that uh, technology. Land care members in Claveria meet on a regular basis to share and discuss issues relevant to their livelihood and local ecosystem. Farmers also participate in cross visits to fellow farmers' fields to observe and learn new methods and to encourage others in outlying areas to participate in community building activities. One of the important activities of land care in Calabria is having a regular meeting where farmers can discuss about the problem they have in their farming and try to 
get some ideas how to address this problem and where farmers can also share their experiences the way they farm which could be beneficial to other farmers. Land care for me is so significant especially that I have helped my neighbors improve their living and teach them the the importance of soil conservation. Now that we have the Land Care Association, they learn how to plant trees and have the farming as well and produce more products and alleviate also their living in our neighborhood. There are also farmers who say that uh, we will not adopt that technology because uh, the land we are tilling now is not our land and uh, we will not be benefited of that technology. So by showing some uh, pictures, some photos about the established farm, they were convinced that the technology is, is also appropriate for their farms. When land care was first introduced to me, I was doubtful. Through cross visits, I saw how farmers conserved their area and how their yield increased. I was convinced and I realized that what Landcare taught me about soil conservation is the solutions to have better production. In my understanding, this would help me in conserving my land and increase production and aside from that, we could help protect the environment. What I think has been important, the essence of the land care experience here in Claveria, is a strong network of farmer organizations depending on each other and linked closely and supported by the local government. That strength of local government and farmer organizations has worked together in a very mutually beneficial way. With that strength, these organizations can pull in the resources that they need from outside of their communities. The departments of agriculture, the research organizations can supply those inputs, but farmers take the lead in driving the process. That to me is the essence of land care. The local government unit is uh, doing support to the Claveria Land Care Association in terms of financial. They give us uh, 50,000 uh, pesos per barangay or uh, per chapter for uh, the operation, for nursery operations. And uh, the local government unit are uh, enacting ordinance to adopt conservation farming, contour farming through NBAs. And this is facilitated and uh, monitored by the Claveria Land Care Association. We are expecting that out of this program, we can, it will add to the income of the farmer and they have to increase their purchasing power. The government in return will have so many uh, social services to the people, to the community, and even infrastructure. So it will add to equality of life to the people in the community. One of the important activities we are doing in land care in Claveria is leadership training. Leadership is a key component in sustaining these different plant groups. Then these leaders can facilitate the discussion of these uh, farmers and also in encouraging farmers to initiate activities towards sustainable and profitable agriculture while protecting the environment. Since the previous leadership training that we have helped facilitated for the Claveria Land Care Association, I have observed that the leaders have become more capable in, in delivering the goods, in getting things done, and in becoming more self-reliant organizations. So for me, uh, as Municipal Planning and Development Coordinator, I think that's, that's people empowerment. In Claveria, land care as a model of enhancing adoption of conservation, farming, and agroforestry practices has been very successful and this could be successful anywhere in the Philippines or anywhere in the world as long as uh, these two conditions are met. First, farmers who are willing to adopt conservation uh, farming that would increase their productivity and sustain the crop production while protecting their environment. 
And the second condition is the local government who would willing to support this grassroots initiative by providing positive policies and financial resources to be able land care activities to be to be successful. If these two conditions are met, land care would be very successful in that particular area. People are the real key to a sustainable agriculture and farmer-led organizations are an unrecognized force for the release of the energies of millions of people in communities all over the tropics. We know that land care has only started a few years ago here in the Philippines, but we see interest and potential in other countries as well, as far apart as Africa. Land care could then become a force for good, empowering communities throughout the tropical world to take charge of their problems and help find solutions as communities rather than individuals. This video was produced by the International Center for Research in Agroforestry with financial support from the Cornell International Institute for Food and Agricultural Development. Support for research was provided in part by the United States Agency for International Development and Cooperación Española, the Spanish International Cooperation Agency.